Hey everybody, AmpreyFairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So I have a Collins 30L1 amplifier here. Went through it, did a bunch of repairs, added the Harbach filter cap board kit to it. I had made a video before on this last night, but I was so tired. I could get up at, you know, 4.30 or so in the morning, usually 4.30, 5 o'clock. And, uh... I stayed up late to finish it, so I figured I'd make a fresh video. Go over everything in one shot. So, I re-glued the insert, the chrome insert. One of these was missing, I forget which one it was, but re-glued that in. The meter, the glass, was pushed in, and the customer or the person before him tried to put in hot glue, like, like hot glue stick, hot glue. And there was a large gap, like an eighth inch gap. Meter still, the meter movement, the needle still moved, but it was pushed in. So I took the whole meter assembly out, took the three screws out so I could pull the meter out, and then I pushed the glass in and I cleaned out as much as I could, and then I put in uh, super glue and pushed it pretty much flush. So it looks pretty, uh, pretty good. Almost, uh, almost stuck, so it took a little while. So here's the Harbach filter cap board kit. I assembled that and installed it. I put a 10 ohm, 10 watt series glitch in over there, as you can see. I rewound the parasitic suppressors with brand new 2 watt carbon comp Allen Bradley resistors, as you can see right there. I was missing a nut right here on this bracket, so I in reinstalled one. The wire for the output network was almost touching ground potential, and it looked like it had arced at one point, so I moved it away right down there. I checked the fan. The fan is good. Check the air variables. You always want to make sure this connection is nice and tight plate blocker and also the connection for the coil. I've seen this loosen up. Also over here, it's a good idea to snug up on the connection on the plate tuner. Okay, so I will flip it over and show you the bottom. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the bottom. So I'm going to replace this resistor and the diode there. I checked them both. They're both within tolerance. They did a cruddy solder job soldering them in, so I re-soldered them and I replaced the stock capacitor, which is a 10 microfarad at 250 volt. Put a brand new one in. Someone replaced the cord. Show you the bottom here. Don't ever turn one of these on with the cover, with the top cover or bottom cover removed because they have high voltage interlock crowbar circuits and you will put a dead short on the plate supply and you'll end up burning up that resistor, the 10 ohm, 10 watt resistor. So this is to save your life because the high voltage will kill you. It's dangerous. Okay, I'll be right back. I will show you the back. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention the cathode return fuse was open a lot of people don't know about this but there's a very thin gauge piece of wire right here between these two terminals and that was blown right open so replace that oh, that's good be right back I'll show the back well, here's the back I changed the four grid loading resistors 47 ohm I put in two watts Carbon Comp, Alan Bradley's. The stock ones are lower wattage. I always put two waters in. I changed the 200 puff mica cap between each grid connection and ground. There's one grid per tube. So four and four. Four resistors, four capacitors. Resoldered the SO239. Customer had replaced it. Usually it has a different connector here. So, um, so that's good. It's nice and tight on that 
pin of appeal to 59, check to make sure it has the proper fuse size in each fuse holder. I also replaced the meter lamp bulb, put diode, reverse connected diodes across the meter movement. Check the resistor. It's in parallel with the TR relay coil that's within tolerance. I cleaned the TR relay contacts with deoxic gold. I compressed the clips carefully in the, in the tube sockets and cleaned those with deoxic gold and plugged the tube in and out a bunch of times, a dummy tube, like four or five times to make sure they were nice and clean. And uh, also clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold. That's about it. So, need an amplifier repaired? Feel free to give me a call. I work on the ones you see in my YouTube videos. And that's about it. Take care. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Back to work. I'll be back with another video very soon. Take care.